Hi, I'm Steve Steinberg. I'm the owner of Segway of Oakland and Angel Island Segway Tours. Um, we're out here today. It's Saturday. It's a beautiful day. It's about 72 degrees. It's a short sleep day here. One of the few days that we experience a short sleep weather out here. Um, we're going to take you on a nice tour today and show you what the uh, terrain looks like and what the sights are. And I uh, hope you enjoy this video. I'm uh, Mark Colbert. I um, work for Segway of Oakland, giving tours out on Angel Island. And it's probably the best way to get around and check stuff out out here because you get to get down and close to stuff and smell the, the ocean air in your, in your nose and I don't know what else to say. The way that you turn a Segway is with this mechanism right here. If you turn it to the left, it will turn to the left. If you turn it to the right, it will turn to the right. So you want to allow yourself a good two feet, and you can, I, I find my best advice to people is it's oftentimes better to stop and back yourself out of a situation as opposed to try to turn out of a If you don't lean forward or backwards, you'll stay in the exact same spot that you were leaning forward. You're going to lean backwards. Um, we are working in, in conjunction with the parks. We are, uh, they were losing visitorship. Less and less people are actually coming to state parks. Sort of an environmentally sound way to explore the island. So we do incorporate a history for lessons. Oh, right. This is Ayala Cove. This is where most of you probably, I assume, pulled in. Um, it's named after a Spanish naval lieutenant, um, Juan Manuel Ayala. And he actually sailed in here in 1775. Which I find very interesting because I grew up in Boston and they kind of drilled the whole revolutionary, you know, early colonies um, history into my head and they didn't really talk much about the West Coast. And at the, about the same time, there was a Spanish naval officer sailing into the mouth of the Golden Gate Bridge. That's where they get the name for the coat. It eventually became a hospital and a quarantine station. If you came to San Francisco by boat, um, they would basically inspect the cargo and the crew. So it's neat if you have a chance to visit the visitor center and some of the movies you can watch and you see little excerpts of some of the generals' wives and they're talking about how this was the most idyllic uh, gig you could have, basically just kind of taking back on a nice island. Yeah. We're going to go right into the Civil War camp. Yeah, we're actually heading to the hospital next. So that being said, it's the most accurate picture of the entire base. So segue on by as we head down into the base. It gives you sort of an idea of what it was like then. And again, there was no conflict, so the only time they really had to fire their guns was maybe to hunt some venison for stew or something. I think, I think about some people get scared when they see a hill. The gears, it's always in gear. There's no clutch. It's never going to coast. So you're completely in control with how fast you go. You can stop on the hill. And you can even go backwards up the hill. You're totally in control. So you can go down sort of at your own hill. These wooden buildings are barracks. They're enlistment barracks. They were lining this side of the parade grounds. They're no longer here. But the officer's housing on the left side is here. This is original. Original buildings. All these, yeah, there's a bakery here that they do. They actually still bake at. Um, this barracks down here, they have groups come and sleep over Cub Scouts in little classes. I'm surprised they're not good shape. Yeah. The salt air, the fall. Well, you know what I think it is? This is actually kind of a neat little valley. The Sacramento River comes down here. This doesn't get the brunt of the salt air coming through the mouth. I mean, the Golden Gate is literally right over this hill. In fact, you'll see it in, the, in all its glory in just a moment. Early 1900s. And they last for a period of time. I thought all these um, batteries, because there's one above us here, there's another one over here. I thought they were World War II bombs. In the headlands, there are one.
Yeah, the Chinese were sort of mistreated a little bit and kept there for a long time. Um, and that's where it sort of got the notoriety because that's where they wrote the poem. <laughs> That's pretty cool. There's only two people living in this one right here. Really? dollars four bedrooms. She keeps playing with flowers with her. There's uh, condors up here. One of them's got the number 88 on it. Because they damned it for a reason. That's great. This is well worth uh, whatever it costs. <laughs> I recommend it highly to anyone who wants to see such a gorgeous island all in one day. And you, this thing is so easy to maneuver. So easy. You'll have a great time, I guarantee it. The best way to see the island and its segways are fun too. Fun. Really, uh, it makes it fun thing. The first time, it's, it's very easy to learn. It's surprisingly easy to learn. Yeah. It's the only way to go.